The following video was requested by Ostadun. Episode 19, Gregory tries to beat Caillou up and gets grounded. Huh, <sighs> I still can't get over the fact that Eliza told mine and Bernadette's sons on us for grounding the whole world. And grounding the little green girl wasn't enough to teach her a lesson for snooping into my business because for a little girl so pretty, she's tough and smart at the same time. I need to think of another way to get back at her. Hmm, think Greg. Aside from her friends, who else does Eliza care about? Obviously I can't mess with her foster parents because I underestimated the leader of the insurgency himself. But there's something else. Wait a minute. I remember Doris and Diesel Gavin mentioning to me and Paula something about their exes. So that means... Eliza must have half-siblings. And I think I know just how to get back at Eliza. I'll beat one of her half-siblings up. I just need to pick which one I could find. Yeah, Greg, you are much smarter than you look. After Winkret left the house. You know, Caillou, I'm usually fine with us having common friends. But do you find it weird being part of the same family now that my dad married your mom? Honestly, Stephanie, I think it is weird, but your dad actually likes my mom better than yours, given everything we went through for four years. I honestly don't see why you would think that. Um, Stephanie, why are you looking at me like that? Caillou, look behind you. What the- what? Who are you? Are you two related to one of Jason's friends? Duh. Who? Jason. Who's Jason? He goes to the same school as someone you know in particular. Wait, you don't mean... Eliza. What do you want with Eliza? So you two are related to her? Yeah. She's our half-sister. There a reason why you're here. I'm here to teach Eliza a lesson for snitching on me and a friend of mine for grounding the whole world. My family grounded me for it because of her. Wait a minute. Now I know who you are. You're Greg Parker. One of the new child abusing parents in town. Oh, so you're a smart girl, eh? Well, in case you and whoever this guy is in front of you is get any ideas, you better know who you're dealing with. For your info, Greg, my name's Caillou. And if you don't back away from me and Stephanie, we're gonna have Eliza call your family on you. Do that and I'll beat you up, Caillou. Stay away from my half-siblings. Whoa. And I thought you were green before. This is a new one. She's dressed like some kind of superhero. <laughs> Aren't you a little too late for Halloween? Because you're not as tough as you're trying to look. Did it ever occur to you that bullying another parent's kid counts as child abuse, did it? Bullying and child abuse ain't the same thing. Yes, they are. But it's only when the parent's being the bully. And I've seen the whole thing, Mr. Parker. You can mess with me and Jason all you want, but you wanna know what you can't do. No one messes with my family. And for trying to beat Caillou up, I'm taking you over to your house to have Dr. Parker ground you. Let's go right now. Hold up Eliza, can we just... <coughs> Stephanie, are you seeing what's happening right now? Eliza's going all bodybuilder on that guy. And she just saved you from getting beaten up. And that's what happened. He did what? Greg, is this true? Okay, come on, spit it out. But... If you don't spill the beans, you're gonna be in even more trouble than you're already in. One. Eliza, you can't. Two. Who says you can do that, two? Don't make me say three. Okay, 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 it's true. I tried to beat Caillou up, just please. Get Eliza away from me. She's a demon. Oh, don't be so dramatic, Mr. Parker. I'm just a kid. A kid who's almost as smart as Jason. You're just big, mean, and stupid. I'm very disappointed that we have to have this conversation again. First the Raymond quadruplets and now Caillou? One of Eliza's half-siblings? You've gone too far this time, Greg. And you know what? Ever since you pulled this sort of stunt the first time, I've been thinking about filing you for a divorce. And one of these days, I'm gonna make it happen. What, divorce? No, Paula, you can't seriously be planning to file me for a divorce. I didn't just marry you to help raise our kids. I married you because you're pretty, no matter how smart you are. 
I'm never gonna find another woman like you. Well you should have thought about that before you decided to beat those four innocent kids up. I'll divorce you eventually. But for now, you're grounded for life. Now go to bed. This is what I get for trying to seek revenge on Eliza. You have got to be kidding me. And before I actually do file Greg for a divorce, I'll be diving deep into the truth about why he's acting the way he currently is near the end of his Grounded series. But for now, this is Dr. Paula Parker, signing off. TTFN. Ta-ta for now. Okay.